The reality of it is they can't hold their hat on that forever. Is that too much to ask for? It has nothing to do with her. They're just not with the Democratic Party. And that's just basic math. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? You know what time it is. Rants with Aunt Damn It. In this episode, I'm sitting here going over this video. Now, this video is an oldie but goodie because it came and it went like a nigga that died on his honeymoon. Huh? This video right here is actually explaining why a lot of young black men are really not fucking with the Democratic Party in general. And at this point, it's so close to the election that they are using black men as the scapegoat in case this shit goes left. Pushing this narrative that black men aren't voting for her because she's a woman. And on top of that, she's a black woman. Or no, excuse me, y'all call her a woman of color now. I don't think I didn't pick up on that. Anyway, the reality of it is they're just not fucking with the Democratic Party. It has nothing to do with her. Whoever would be in that seat, they would be the one that wasn't getting a good look. It really doesn't help that people are trying to weaponize race gender identity into getting somebody to vote for you now my stance has always been if you are expecting because the democrats are good at expecting that you are going to vote for them that they should be expecting some heavy 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 criticism and question it but let's get into this and you're going to see exactly what i'm talking about and why things are shifting the way that they are shifting also vice president harris is rolling out a new opportunity agenda, which she's calling it, aimed at black men. Joining us now, political correspondent and author of the Recast newsletter, Bracton Booker. Um, all right, Bracton. so we talked about how Kamala Harris was in Pennsylvania nigga. doing this today. Give me a little bit more about the... Uh no disrespect to this brother. I don't know him. This is the issue that a lot of black men have. They're trying to get a black man to speak for all black men. They got to stop with these off-brand Negroes. I think I think that's the best way to put it, becoming more curious, right? Um, what we're seeing is that younger black men, just like younger voters overall, um, are not as beholden to uh, the Democratic Party as, as previous younger generations, right? Uh, how it's been explained to me by some researchers and by some uh, political scientists, they say, look, the further, especially when we're looking at, at black voters, the further you get away from the civil rights movement, the less inclined or less um, less attached to the Democratic Party and the, the victories won during the civil rights movement do, do black people feel attached to. And First point, black people in the alliance to the Democratic Party kind of goes back to the civil rights movement. Back then, black people were fighting German shepherds and fucking racism. There was no easy win for them out here. So I get where a lot of people are triggered by the words that are being used, the weaponization, the fear mongering. Like, I totally understand it. But you also got to understand, too, that we've been too loyal to this party for too long, celebrating the victories from 50 years years ago or 60 years ago at this point how about we start asking for something else how about we start stepping outside the box and showing them that hey listen i'm gonna go see what they trying to do because even a little bit from over here is better than nothing from over here and that's just basic math that ain't got nothing to do with who's running what and shout out to those of y'all that went through the civil rights movement i didn't mean that in a disrespectful manner I didn't mean that in what your struggle was wasn't important. It is super important. If it wasn't for y'all having to go through that, yeah, we wouldn't be where we are today. That we can agree on. But we can also agree that just because they gave us that, they can't hold their hat on that forever. And we just need to be happy that they decided that they want to get everybody to treat us like humans. Or at least pretend to treat us like humans. Because let's be real, not all of them goddamn Democrats, they're not the Negro-loving white folks that y'all think they are. So this idea that that their ancestors fought for these hard-fought wins are, uh, resonate less with them and they want to see how their lives are going to be improved uh, with one administration or another. And I think that's where you're seeing some of the um, weak spots with the with the Harris campaign is that folks want to know what is going to be different for them uh, if Harris were to be elected. Y'all know how this shit works. They gave Barack a hard time with everything he tried to do. Not that he did anything specifically for black people, which a lot of us thought that that was going to happen. I mean, they've been telling us, you see somebody that looks like you in a position of power, that lets you know 
that you can get there too and they're going to look out for you. At this point in time, you're not about to sit here and sell me a dream that we're going to have the same opportunities or that we're going to be living this glamorous life when nine times out of 10, it's really not going to change that much. Call me what you want, but you can't call me stupid on this one. Can I ask you about, I mean, this is just still sticking with me. Um, that one... Um uh, Republican um, uh, official there, or Republican Party official trying to get black men to vote, saying that we are going to tell men, um, or men want to be in control of their own destiny. They want to control yeah. their own destiny. Everybody wants to control their own destiny. What do you think, what is that, what is he saying with that to men? When you're saying hmm. to black men, any men, you should be in control of your own destiny. Is there something else being said there you goddamn right it is i'm gonna say it because this guy's not gonna say it he's up here to be politically correct and once again no disrespect to this guy he's obviously educated he obviously knows what he's talking about but once again he doesn't speak for all black men it's weird when y'all try to put us in these boxes and then get mad when we're like no don't put us in a box but as soon as you try to put somebody else in the box it's considered a hate crime or like some sort of phobic it's weird i don't really like us like that but anyway the message that that is here is basically saying that every time the Democrats, especially when Biden got into office and they rallied behind and he went on the breakfast club and told y'all, he told us all because I voted for the nigga too. He said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. And I was like, hold up, I'm black. I know I'm black. So then I was like, I got to go vote for the nigga because he called me out. We ain't doing that no more. <laughs> like Y'all not, not about to sit here and try to weaponize who the fuck I am to make me vote. I might fucking write myself in on the goddamn ballot. Fuck it. I'll do it if I want to. It's my American right. Speaking to is like black men want to be able, just like all men, but black men especially want to be able to uh, have equal access to capital and they want to have a level playing field for, you know, starting a business and uh, removing barriers to, to entry, right? Um, right? With some Republican policies, they're saying like, hey, well, our policies are colorblind. As long as you have a good idea, you have access to capital and you can get that business uh, across the finish line up and, you know, out into the uh, public square where you can you can go out and compete. Democrats will also play up the the idea that look, we all, we know that things are not equal in this playing field. There's redlining. There's a history of uh, banks not giving that same kind of access to capital uh, to black and brown people. So it's it's an understanding. Of We're talking about black people here. I hate when y'all do that. And this is no disrespect. You don't have to make it black and brown. It's okay to say black. It's okay to say African American. That's the other thing too. We gotta stop acting like it's a fucking taboo. We're a group of people that spend money, pay taxes, and we vote the same too. That, that Democrats want to lean into. But I think what you are hearing from uh, the black Republican is is that look, Trump, Trump's economy, Trump goes out and says like, well, did you feel better when I was in office? Did you feel like you had more money in your pocket? Certainly folks bring up this idea about this stimulus check. Sometimes folks refer to them as stimmies, right? Told you this nigga is off brand. If you know, you know. Like, I'm really not going to break this down, but if you know what he just did, then you know what I'm talking about. During the pandemic, that helped a lot of people. And I, I think Trump gets a lot of credit for not only just having his name on those stimulus checks that went out to people during the height of the pandemic, but he gets credit for selling it as if it was his idea. Now, Democrats will go to say, like, this was not his idea. This is a great fucking point here. Reason why people have been lied to for so long that it's like, just make the lie fucking good. Let's make it sound. Sexy. Be like, yo, nah, we ain't sending them checks out till I put my name on it. Motherfuckers like, oh, this nigga bossing up out here. And the crazy part, it was twelve hundred fucking dollars. That is no money. The same niggas that's happy about twelve hundred dollars gonna be the same niggas that want to go sign the fucking thing because she says she's gonna legalize weed. That's where I stand with all of this shit. Both sides of the playing field. Some of y'all motherfuckers is too old. The fact that y'all want to try to call a man out for wanting to have credit for something, because I ain't gonna front. If I was the president and I did something, I would want my name on it too, and you would too. What the fuck is the point of being a president if you can't say that you did some fly shit? That's what I want out of my president. Put some arrogance on it. Y'all get in the comment box. Let me know what you think about this. I mean, do we like really owe the Democratic Party our fucking blood lineage? Like they just got a forever vote? Did somebody sign a contract that I ain't know about? Put on your tenfold hats. I'll catch y'all next time. I'm fucking out of here.